I chose the DLP Lightcrafter Display 230MP Evaluation Module created by Texas Instruments. It's not necessarily meant for the average consumer. I originally had a really hard time getting my hands on it because you're required to have a business to buy one, which I ironically have because of a really interesting and lengthy story when I tried to become the next Wolf of Wall Street. Mm -hmm. I made a couple of good calls and then I lost it all. About 20 Gs. Good times. Anyway. It features the smallest digital micro mirror device that displays at 1080p and 100 lumens. To give some context to that, a DMD or digital micro mirror device uses mirrors made of aluminum to reflect light and create a picture. There's over 500,000 mirrors on the DMD we're using for this project. The best part of it all, it features a 40 pin GPIO that will plug right into a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi. So effectively tweaking a couple of settings and programming the Pi to start projecting on boot I can have a ultra portable Pi projector. The only issue was I didn't read the fine print where there's no power supply included. So I had to run to my nearest micro center to buy something. So I snagged a power supply, but like OJ's gloves, it didn't fit. So I cut and spliced an old wire, cut the wire that didn't fit, stripped and primed the power supply, popped a cap for dramatic effect, soldered it up, killed it with fire, and plugged it in for some more dramatic effect. Next, I decided to create a 3D printed case for the projector and the Pi which led to me using Blender and Ultimaker Cura to create, render, and print. For the Pi, I used a previous design and modified it so the ribbon cable would connect directly without any issues. Now the projector came out a little rough, but it features two holes on sides, which I'll fit with Velcro to keep the projector in place. There's a small wedge open at the top for the GPIO. There's a small opening for the five volt power input and another in the front to project. Now this is what it looks like all put together. I attached the Velcro straps to keep the projector in place I attached some more velcro to place the pie on top of the projector. Because there was no GPIO pins left, I needed to power the pie's fans, so I attached a 9 volt battery and soldered two male jumper wires to it. And as a side note, I'm booting Raspbian from that Samsung Bar Plus connected to the pie. Speaking of Raspbian, Texas Instruments was kind enough to create a pre-configured config.txt file for the pie. They also created an API and a list of Python scripts to use for basic connectivity and testing. We'll be using one in particular on startup to immediately start projecting. And in order to get the Pi to stream 1080p videos cleanly on YouTube, I needed to overclock the Pi's CPU and GPU. I also needed to download a specific media-friendly Chromium browser and limit videos to 30 frames per second. With that out of the way, let's hope this doesn't fail miserably. Now only if there was a screen to show off this projector's beautiful capability. Show the screen. Show it. Uh, um, oh, oh, yeah. Look, check it out. Yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, the screen does flicker a bit during the filming of the projector, but it's because of the video playback. In real life, there's no flickering whatsoever.